I'm warm now. I feel better. I need to call Kate. Don't worry about Kate. I have to find out how things went with Federico. See, I, I feel better already. I'm already obsessing about work. You need to stay here for at least 24 hours. Okay, don't you think that's like a teensy bit of an overreaction? No. We need to make sure that you don't develop fluid on your lungs. All heart transplant patients are at higher risk for everything, Robin, but I feel fine. Just humor me, okay? Rest. Give yourself time to recover, please. Maxie, sweetheart, how the hell did you end up in a sewer for God's sake all night in the freezing cold and now you might have pneumonia? Hi, Mac. I had to call him and I don't apologize. Robin is just running some tests on me. I am fine. It was a terrible plan. Poorly conceived and poorly executed, and now Maximist is paying the price. Why did I imagine that our, the first glimmer of our romance could be duplicated in a storm drain, no less, in the dark and cold? Why didn't I make her wear a real coat? Come on, take it easy, okay? It's folly. Pure folly to believe that. If I presented myself as a man of danger, she would see me as a hero. Max, he already sees you as a hero, Smiley. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, to top it off, I injured myself. If you hadn't shown up... You would have thought of something to no, do. All I can think of is, is lies, of selfish fabrications, of childish tales of daring do. Right, trust me, Smiley. Maxie is madly in love with you. All you need to do is trust that and get out of your own way. Thank you, Epiphany. Never hurts when you do it. <laughs> Years of experience. Put a rush on those tests. I already gave the lab a hint up. Thanks, Epiphany. Thanks for taking such good care of my little girl. And don't you stay too long. She needs her rest. Epiphany's right. I feel fine. And can you please tell Mac that these tests are just a precaution and that I don't have pneumonia and I'm probably not going to? You try to rest. And you, try not to worry. Look, just put a double rush on those tests, okay? Got it. Please. Maximista. You, you, you idiot. Don't I knew it was you. Don't yell at Spinelli, okay? He's hurt. hurt. I'll show him hurt, you nincom poop. It's true. I'm responsible for every moment of the dangerous debacle, and I deserve the full measure of your wrath. How did you end up in a storm drain with this idiot? It was a very important case. You're dragging Maxie out on mob assignments now. It had nothing to do with the mob. Oh no, then, then why is he here? Because Spinelli texted him to come and save us. Maxie, did it ever occur to you to call the police? Maybe 911, maybe fire and rescue. Look, here's an idea. Why didn't you call me? Thanks for saving my daughter. You don't have to give me any details, but now you need to go. This is so rude. I'm it's sorry, fine. you guys. It's all right. Glad you're okay. Hang in there. What are you still doing here? Go on, get out. What? I need Spinelli. Please stay. Okay, I'm not gonna argue with you, okay? I want you to get your rest. But Spinelli's not gonna change, Maxie. He doesn't really care about you. If he did, he wouldn't have dragged you into that sewer. It was a storm drain. You know, you keep following this guy, making excuses for him, skipping out on your own life to be with him. He's gonna get you killed one day. Hey, he was worried, okay? He didn't mean any of that. Max, right? Mac. Why are you talking like that? I made it up. Made what up? All of it. I mean, save the original case itself. I mean, the chef was being unfaithful to his spouse, but her life was never at risk. He's a sleaze, but not a serial killer. I, I enhanced the facts so that, so that we could solve the mystery together. And then I could come up with some brilliant solution and be your hero. You didn't have to do that. There was no reason to go in the storm drain in the chill of winter, no less. It was stupid and a dangerous ruse. I, I just wanted to remind you of how we got together and, and that I wanted to save you. But you did. You, you text Johnny. No. 
It was random chance or divine intervention that Johnny showed up. And had he not, he could have very well died in that storm drain, all because I wanted to be a hero when I am clearly anything but.